is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest Havoc OS based on Android Pie and this is the 3rd July 2019 build let me show you the about section quickly here if we go into the Android version you will see that the Android version is still 9 but the security patch is latest one which is July 5th 2019 here's the baseband and stock kernel version is the beast kernel and you can see the build number or stuff like that and if you go into the Havoc version here the Havoc version shows as Havoc 2.7 and here is the like build date the, it shows as 2nd July 2019 build over here but it is actually 3rd July build I think so it is official build for Redmi Note 7 Pro first of all let's talk about the flashing well I have used this TWRP recovery let me show you so if you open it over here, it will show the recovery.img. So just extract this, this zip file. I'll link the direct zip file over here in the description box below. So you don't need to worry. Let me show you the version quickly over here. This is the 331 TWRP 331-6 version, which is the latest one. And this version supports the encryption. So you do not have to flash the fcrypt disabler or something like that if you use this TWRP. But make sure if you were on the previous Peter's TWRP, which were using the pin method or encryption, well, whenever you are entering your TWRP, you have to enter your pin. From that recovery, I switched to this new recovery. Well, you just update it normally with this, with the previous one to this one. And after that, if you flash a ROM, you have to format storage. So make sure you have formatted storage with this new TWRP once. Once you have done that, you can flash any ROM, you don't need to worry, like all the ROMs coming out right now, you can flash them. So from right now, you do not have to enter your pin and we just like flash the ROM and the gapps file and just reboot. No need of flashing the fcrypt disabler or any kind of separate zips, just flash the ROM and gapps and reboot with this little recovery. So that is how I flash this ROM, I have flashed this ROM with latest like micro gapps, but let me tell you, this is not like super stable or this is not like super featurey all the features does not really work right now over here well the stock camera over here was the like cyanogen mod or the snapdragon camera so i was not happy i installed magisk over here as you can see and i also installed the anx camera so here it is as you can see the anx camera does work super fine you do not need to worry this is the ported miui camera i just flashed it with magisk you can also do it with rp and this works and the stock launcher over here in this ROM is launcher launcher this is the stock wallpaper and if you go to the launcher settings we have the gestures option and from here you can like have the double tap to sleep so you can just double tap anywhere to like make the phone into sleep and here is the fingerprint scanner speed as you can see the fingerprint scanner speed is not bad it is pretty fast and if i go into the normal settings if I go into the like display settings, here is how it is and nightlight and stuff is there. We also have live display and you can change the color profiles over here and double tap to wake is there. Let me just go back. If you go into the sounds, we have the option for also vibrate for calls. We have the screenshot sound disabling option. We also have the me audio and answer, but it just went back. So as you can see the me audio announcer sometimes four stops so that is how it is it it mostly does not work and also vibrate for calls and stuff is there but the me audio direct is simply kind of not working and over here if you go to the havoc settings you will find the customizations over here as you can see of course we have like plenty of customizations we have double tap to sleep brightness control by just doing this so these are pretty cool like customizable features and quick pull down smart pull down both are there clock and date customization is there battery style is there you can change it to android q if you want to so and the network traffic indicator and stuff is there too status bar icons we have the headset bluetooth etc icon over here vaulty icon you can enable it too and vaulty calls does work super fine also we have the call recording option let me just go back inside quick settings we have the quick setting column and row number customization and tile toggle and stuff like that is there if you go into interface we have the ui style changing option to pixel or aosp now we have background color changing option to light dark shady glassy etc you can change the accent colors from this material palette or like whatever color you are like wondering 
I just tapped on some colors I think yeah let me just switch it to default and also we have the font manager so we get plethora of options for fonts as you can see lot of options for fonts and also we have the quick setting toggle styles and stuff so if you want to change the whole quick setting toggle styles you can do that too the system UI is kind of like acting weird right now let me just go back we have the switch appearance you can change them to like one plus or like any kind of thing and you can change the accent colors to this accent based that header color over here so that is really like changeable most of the time the rom is really really smooth you do not need to worry and we also have the ambient display of this always on display and check for new notifications then always on charging etc ambient display features are already there and from screen i just customized this like status bar padding because the battery icon and stuff was too much to the edge and over here we have the button customizations we have the power menu and this advanced reboot options are there so that you can directly reboot to recovery or fast boot or whatever you want let me just go back this long press for torch i would say it's is not at all working over here let me just show you again so here as you can see it is turned to this long press power button for torch but it is simply not working as you can see i am holding the power button but it does not toggle the torch so that is how it is over here there are more bugs i'll talk about them later on and if you go to the navigation bar you can like have the layout inverted of this navigation bar so that is how it is let me just go back and if you go to the gestures we have the one plus gestures the edge gestures and pie control is there now we have the swipe to the extreme shot well things gets a little bit weird over here so if we enable this swipe to the extreme shot and take a screenshot as you can see that is how the screenshot looks i don't know why it's happening but this is how the screenshot looks so the screenshot does not really work over here like if you talk it properly so that is how it is it is a really really weird thing that it takes like wide and like small screenshots which is not really usable and double tap gesture and stuff is there in the lock screen media info art and stuff like that is there lock screen charging animation is there so that whenever you plug in your charger it does that kind of like pixel animation over here so looks really good while charging and one more thing that is present that is good is force fingerprint authentication so this feature is really important for me and it is there and i really enjoy it that i do not have to enter my pin every time i reboot i just like can tap the fingerprint scanner and the phone unlocks even after i reboot and face auto unlock is there too so you don't need to worry and temperature and stuff is there so that is really good if you go into recent we can change the recent style to quick step stock grid android go and slim let me go back if i go into notifications we have the charging led customization and also we have the heads up disabling option and force close notification and stuff like that is there and all the in call vibration is there too so you don't need to worry and if i go into animation we have like whole ui animation customization over here you can also enable the quick setting toggle animation then we have the power menu animation and stuff like that and if you go into input method this is pretty simplistic and battery saving options are there and if i go to misc you have the option to change the usb configuration to file transfer and we also have this gaming mode if you want to enable it like if you want to play games and stuff for with this you can definitely do that so screenshot in this rom is pretty weird if you are someone who has to take like quite a lot of screenshot do not press this rom i would say now let's talk about one more thing the youtube bug or like beat wherever you are playing a video from let me just show you so let's assume i'm going to play this video right now and as you can see it's being played right now over here and if i try to switch to full screen the screen goes black for a moment then just like you can watch the video normally it starts playing normally the sound and stuff everything works but right now if i just try to go back the screen goes black for a moment again so this is i think pretty much a bug so it, this keeps happening like every time i watch a, any youtube video and it is annoying that i can pretty much confirm and if you go into system we can also check for updates over here this is an official rom so of course you will receive updates from the system updater and the google pay is working fine even though i do have magisk but the google pay should be working right out of the box in this rom you don't need to worry about banking apps 
Now let's open some of the apps and show you. There are no issues at all regarding the RAM management I would say and the sound output via the headphone jack is pretty fine too but make sure you remember that the Mi Audio Jack may force close on you. So that is how it is. Let's open Instagram. Now let's open all the apps from memory again. So as you can see all the apps stays in memory so no issues whatsoever regarding memory management over here. As you can see no issues whatsoever regarding memory management. The RAM management over here in this ROM is pretty good and the ROM is really really fast. So I would say yes it still needs lot of improvements and yeah the talking about Volti we have the call recording option and stuff in the call UI and Volti calls are working fine too and Wi-Fi, 4G data etc works fine too over here you don't need to worry. So I was sick really sick for a couple of days so that's why I did not make videos but here you have a video with the like Redmi Note 7 Pro on the latest Havoc OS. Let me know what do you guys think in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching guys. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet. This is Tito from KDN Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.